Welcome, FNME is a Xiaomi Redmi A1 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So starting off we want to open up settings and in here we're gonna navigate to begin with to display. Here we have a dark theme which is the first thing that I'm gonna touch upon. So you have a switch which allows you to just toggle it on or off but you can also tap right here on the text and this will allow you to set it up as a schedule. You have the choice under the schedule, which is kind of ironic, to have it as a schedule or sunset to sunrise, which I guess could be considered a schedule. Uh, but anyway, you can choose one of those. And by doing so, uh, you basically nivellate the uh, option of flashbanging yourself uh, at night when you wake up and you want to check your phone for time. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. And obviously this will switch on and off dark mode. Um, based on the time so you can have light mode during the daytime when it's more beneficial and during nighttime obviously you will have dark mode instead now moving on to the next thing it's going to be a lift to wake which is also under the display right here I believe it is enabled by default so you can turn it off if you don't like it I don't so there we go boom it's off now it's personal preference if you do like it uh, then you can keep it on enable it if it's not uh, but I'm just pointing this out, that's where the option is. I personally don't like it, that's why I'm showcasing this. Now moving on, we also have the uh, display size, which is a little bit higher right here. So there are the two options uh, that I'm going to touch here. So these two options together, uh, I would say cater more towards uh, elderly people or people that are visually impaired, because each one of them allows you to increase the text size. So you have default, I can make it a large. There we go. And now the display size increases everything, like for instance buttons as well, and icons on your home screen on top of that too. While font size only increases the font itself. So there we go. But combine them two together and you can get your text pretty freaking large. So uh, with that being said, on top, you might encounter some visual uh, kind of bugs, I guess. Not really sure how to describe it. But because your text will become so big, uh, it sometimes might cut out, uh, even though it's not really finished. So if an app isn't necessarily optimized for such a big text, where it just kind of, for instance, has it a one line that it can spread the text, it might be that, for instance, this display would be so big that, for instance, the si display size sizes for instance cut out partially and you won't be able to see it uh, if you see things like this this will be caused specifically by uh, one of these options the display size mixed with the text uh, or font size so you can lower it down if you have a problem with it now moving on to the next option it's going to be the gesture navigation found in system gestures system navigation and you can see it right here. I have been using it for the entire time. Uh, this is my preferred way of navigating. Uh, but if you want, you can change it to three button navigation. If you haven't ever used this before, the way you navigate through it is you swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from either side, which doesn't seem to work right here, to go back, as you can see. And now moving on to the last option, which I'm gonna showcase, it's the uh, power button. So. I'm not sure if it's enabled or disabled by default, but uh, let's see if I can actually find it now. It should be somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Uh, press and hold power button. So in here, you can see that you can enable the uh, Google Assistant if that is something that you want to activate when you hold power button. Give it a second, and there we go. And if you don't, obviously, you can disable it in here. Now with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.